welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So before we get into talking about the speed build, because we are building another house today, or I don't fully know if you call this a house, it's a loft. So I got quite a lot of requests to do some more lofts for you guys. And someone asked if I could do a Tumblr inspired loft. So that is what we're doing today. But before we get into talking about the house or the loft, I just want to say sorry if I'm yelling, by the way, I'm wearing a new pair of headphones and they're noise canceling so I can't really hear myself that well and I don't know how to turn it off right now <laughs> so or the noise canceling effect I don't know how to turn it off so I just want to warn you guys sorry if I am yelling I don't mean to but uh, yeah that is what we're doing today we're building a tumblr inspired house or a tumblr inspired loft and I don't fully know how to explain exactly what a tumblr interior style is because it's not you know, it's not like modern or contemporary or traditional or anything like that. It's just the interior is inspired by pictures that actually I went on Pinterest and searched or Google and searched for Tumblr interior or something like that to get inspiration. I don't know why I just I don't go on Tumblr itself to get inspiration for interiors like this. I always go on either Pinterest or Google. Don't know what that's about but <laughs> I did my best uh, I hope you guys can see that it's a bit tumblr inspired at least it's very similar to the other apartments that I've done in this kind of style I think I've done two so far because I did one that was just for one or two sims and then I've also done a roommate's apartment in this kind of in tumblr in tumblr <laughs> in this kind of tumblr inspired style so yeah I hope you guys like this loft so the loft is just for either one or two sims. There is only one bedroom in here or just one bed. It is a loft, so it's quite open, I would say, because that's how I kind of... Like, I think open floor plan when I think about lofts. It's like open floor plan and then you got this sort of like half second floor, kind of, if that makes any sense. You can look down over the balcony into or onto the ground floor. That's what I think of when I think of loft. So that's the same kind of style that I went for in the, or the same kind of like layout for the interior for the floor plan, like I did with the other lofts that I also built, the girly one, and I've also done an industrial one. I'll probably do more in the future because they are quite fun to decorate at least I think so so um yeah there'll probably be more of these at some point I promise you guys but layout wise we're definitely going for something very similar to the other two lofts that I've done in the past and I hope you guys are okay with that it's just kind of like what I see when I think of loft basically so hopefully you get my point so for the exterior I did get inspiration from Pinterest and then I just changed up the house a lot to my liking. I kept it completely black and white and then the windows are kind of like blue tinted a little bit and I like how this looks. It's look It looks a little bit clinical, <laughs> just like a little bit because it's so white and then with the blue windows, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a surgery practice or something. <laughs> I don't fully know why or, or hospital. Don't know what that's about, but I do like how it turned out. I think it kind of suits the interior style as well. Although I did add a little bit of extra, there's not a lot of, lot of color in the interior. I just stuck with basically white, black, and and gray and then some different brown tones as well so it's not the most colorful interior so it kind of matches the exterior like that because there's absolutely other than the tinted windows there is no or stained windows I don't know what you would call those but other than that there is no color on the exterior so I kind of like that for a change I am currently building on another house or actually finished it today before I went to the gym but that'll be coming up next week and I went completely crazy with color. There's basically nothing black in the house and, or would you call it a house? Don't fully know. But I'm super excited to share that build with you guys because I had so much fun with it. And I think what we're going to do next week, by the way, is mainly tiny houses. I did ask you guys on the community tab, by the way, on my channel, if you had any suggestions for any tiny houses you wanted to see me build. Because I'm currently pre-recording and it turns out that building anything bigger is a struggle for me. So I need to kind of get all my tiny house ideas out there today or 
not today, not necessarily today in this very moment, but during this next week and also the rest of this week. So that is what I'm working on mainly these days. So if you got any suggestions for any tiny houses you want to see me build, do let me know over on the community tab. I did read a lot of them and or I've read every single comment so far. <laughs> I always do that also with my um, videos. I may not have time to answer every single comment, but I do read every single one. So I've gone through all the different suggestions on the community tab so far. There's a lot of good ones that I'll definitely have to write down and like keep in mind for future videos, not necessarily this next week, because there were some that's definitely gonna take a lot longer than a normal tiny house would. So I mean to make and also edit the video, do the voiceover, so on and so on. There's a lot of work that goes into videos by the way. So yeah, I may not be able to do the most requested ones necessarily but I'll definitely write them all down in my planner and at some point I'll get to it because I loved those ideas they are so so good so yeah if you got anything else you know let me know over on the community tab and definitely like always just keep an eye on the community tab sometimes I post sneak peeks over there sometimes I'll put up a poll on something on a video or ask you guys what you want to see like what kind of content you want to see so definitely keep an eye on the community tab if you want anything in what goes on the channel and stuff so yeah that's basically all I had to say about the community tab but right now there's a there's a post where you can leave suggestions for tiny houses. So we have moved on to the interior and I am just currently laying out, or not laying out, I'm currently placing all the furniture in the different areas of the house and then later on I go in and clutter everything. So the kitchen will be cluttered, don't worry, I do add more decor in the living room situation i don't fully know because it's like very open planned we got the office corner over here and then in the middle we have the tv area and then where the door to the backyard is there's the kitchen and behind the couch there'll be a dining area as well and then on the second floor is where i put the bedroom of course i just figure bedrooms always in my builds always go on the second floor it just makes sense to me i can't explain why it just seems natural basically but so I'm basically just putting out all the furniture kind of like framing up you know when you're doing a puzzle and you do the corners first or like the edge of the puzzle and then you fill it in afterwards that's basically what I'm doing with tiny houses for example and also these kind of lofts where there's an open floor plan I just put out all the essential furniture and then later on I go in and clutter up everything and put some decor here and there as well and I've also used some paintings on the gallery or from the gallery by the way so you can see them over on the right side right now above the desk so unfortunately I can't remember the name of the creator or their gallery ID right now because I did not write it down before I started doing this voiceover but I did save the pictures to my library so I'll go back and check and write their name or their gallery ID in the description down below and I'll also leave it in the description of the uploaded build to the gallery just to make sure that they get proper credit because I think it's a little bit important to, to do that and uh, yeah they're they look like CC by the way the pictures but they're not they don't count as CC because it's kind of this like nice trick or hack if you may so some people are very generous with their time and have had their sims kind of paint pictures that they've downloaded CC paintings at least as far as I, I know this is how it works you download CC paintings and then you have your sims paint from reference so they basically paint the picture the CC picture but because they painted it in game it does not count as CC so it's pretty awesome like that and a lot of people have uploaded more pictures like this to the gallery I realize that those of you who play on console don't have access to the gallery which is why I don't use them very often but I figured for this kind of tumblr inspired interior it would just kind of fit the style so I went for it anyways sorry to those of you who do play on console I'm very very sorry but if you are rebuilding rebuilding this house with me right now you can just put in some other pictures I'm sure the there's other pictures you can choose between um, from the uh, original game content so yeah so I don't know what kind of sim actually lives in this house do you think it's a single sim or do you think it's a couple let me know in the comments section down below I honestly did not like 
I did not think of any kind of personality. The only thing that I was sure of was that they wanted to do something with music. So I put the music mixing table downstairs in the office area or the office corner so they can mix music together there and then upload it through the computer on the other side and that's about it to be honest. Other than that, I think I leave a guitar up here as well and I also made sure to put in an audio player or a music player, I don't know what those are called anymore, a stereo I guess, on the dresser next to the front door because I just, I don't know, I had a feeling that they would be into music. I don't know what kind of music but I just feel like the sim living in this house is kind of into music somehow, in some way. But let me know what you think. Like, do you see them as being a little bit different? Do you think they're maybe into wellness or something? Very inspired by the magazine here on the coffee table. Also, by the way, if you're wondering where I get these books and also the magazine that I just put on the coffee table, they are from the Diva catalog. So I've explained this in quite a lot of videos by now, but in case you are new and you don't know what the Diva catalog is, it is this kind of like hidden catalog in the build by catalog where you get all these different items that you wouldn't necessarily have to build but they're items that your sims use through gameplay so like books or blocks that toddlers use and you know all this kind of different stuff coffee mugs and glasses and bottles and stuff there's a lot of stuff in there but it's very easy to get access to on pc you just press down Control shift c and then you type in bb dot show hidden objects and show hidden objects has to be in one word and you don't press or you don't add uh space and then on it's just bb full stop show hidden objects and that's it then you just press enter it may take a while for it to load and uh, after that you on the left side of the screen right now there is a magnifying glass and then there is a bar next to the magnifying glass where it says search in there you just type in debug and then you press enter and all these different items will turn up and there's a lot to go through but it's a lot of fun as well definitely recommend you check it out and now we moved on to the rest of the exterior so for the backyard I did not have a lot of space. It's kind of the same situation as with the other lofts because it's not a tiny house as you can see so it's built on a 20 by 15 but it does take up a fair amount of space on this lot so I don't have a lot of space for like fun stuff, fun activities in the backyard. So basically they just have this very very tiny pool and then a little seating area where there's also a grill and that's about it. I also put some lounge areas up on the terraces just because I figured it would be nice to kind of be able to sit outside and enjoy the sun or something maybe sit outside have a drink talk together something like that and yeah we're also doing a little bit of landscaping it's very very simple I just put some hedges here and there and some trees and that's about it there's not a lot of like bushes or flowers or anything like that just these hedges and that is honestly about it so I did not feel like this kind of house would have like crazy landscaping in any way because it's just so structured and black and white it was very it's very simple very minimalistic so at least like the exterior is so I definitely tried to go for the same when it came to the landscaping so we toned it down quite a lot today but don't worry there'll be more crazy landscaping in the future I promise you guys you guys know how I feel about landscaping and flowers and plants and all that so there'll be more of that do not worry but yeah we're just finishing up the backyard so I painted the walls here in the pool another color. I like to do that these days. I'm getting a little bit tired of the blue flooring and also the blue walls in the pools. I like to make them gray or black instead. I think it adds a little bit extra cleanness or something to the pool itself. I just like how it looks. It, look a little, it looks a little bit darker but I kind of like it so I've been doing that quite a lot these days and other than that I just added the a few plants here and there. I also had a chest table over here. That's right, I completely forgot. And I also add the grill area as the very last thing. And that's about it. So I hope you guys like this build. If you did, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. As always, do let me know if you got any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel. And also let me know over on the community tab if you got any suggestions for any tiny houses you want to see. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye!